Ezra Weston II, pictured here in 1793 at age 21, became a partner in his father's firm in 1798. In 1808, he commenced construction of his own house next to his father's. His wife, who would soon enjoy one of Duxbury's stateliest mansions, was Jerusha Bradford. The scant surviving documentation about her hints that she was vivacious, enjoyed company, and hosted elaborate parties in her new home. The King Caesar House, completed in 1809, was in some ways quite overdue. Jerusha had been married to Ezra Weston II for 15 years before she got a house of her own. She, her husband, and her growing family of five children had been living with her in-laws. It would seem that Ezra II was comfortable in his father's house and in no hurry to build his own. However, broader economic events would change matters. In 1808, New England was reeling from the drastic effects of Thomas Jefferson's embargo. By shutting down all international trade, the embargo utterly failed to affect European foreign policy as intended, and only wreaked havoc with New England's maritime economy. Many merchants in Duxbury, seeing little point in building ships during an embargo, set their carpenters to work on new houses. And so it was with the King Caesar house. The main portion of the house stood much as it does today. The back L, however, was quite humble in 1809, housing a simple one-story kitchen. The house was built in the federal style. Centered on the wharf, ornate and imposing, the house was designed to impress.